Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Dromeda MT 4.18 BL. Now the BL stands for brushless, and this little guy has a brushless motor in it, and it is an absolute beast. Uh, this is a 1/18th scale four-wheel drive monster truck, and is waterproof, and it is just so fast. Uh, unstoppable. I mean, this thing is just so cool. It's good off-road. It's good in gravel, on smooth surfaces. Just really, really enjoying this model. Um, it comes with a nickel metal hydride battery, which is, you know, usually considered slower. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the details here. It's 7.2 volt, 1300 milliamp hour. Um, but I found even with the nickel metal hydride, with that brushless motor, this thing is crazy fast. Um, it says, I think, yeah, it looks like it's not on the front. Oh, okay, here down in the corner it says it. I don't know, you probably won't be able to see that really on camera, but it says 30 plus mile per hour. That's an underestimate if you ask me. I mean, it says plus, so it is definitely on the plus side. I would say this is 35, maybe even close to 40. I mean, this is by far the fastest... 118th scale you know ground vehicle i've ever driven and i know i've had ones that are 30 miles an hour and this is faster than that so i'd say at least 35 even with the nickel metal hydride and then being that it is 7.2 volts it is lipo compatible so you can get a 7.4 volt which is a 2s lipo so i've got this 1600 milliamp hour which is made you know for this vehicle the battery is about the same size is a little bit smaller but it fits in the compartment just fine so you can get a lipo for it but i found that the lipo doesn't really make much of a difference it is a little bit faster but not noticeably um, but what it is is it gives a lot more runtime, especially with it being faster and you're not driving full speed the whole time as much uh, i got much longer run times with the lipo battery um, so to get into those details, so with the nickel metal hydride, again, I said it's a 1300 milliamp hour. And then with the uh, stock charger here, which is a wall charger, but then we've got this, um, this little thing here. So we do have nice visible lights to know when it's done charging and everything. Uh, it takes about four hours to charge that nickel metal hydride battery, though. Uh, so you may want a hobby grade charger to speed that up a little bit. Uh, but with the nickel metal hydride um, out of the box, there um, it the ESC is programmed for a lipo, so it has a lipo cutoff built in, which you don't need for the nickel metal hydride, and it ends up actually making it kill the you know stop the battery sooner than it needs to. So if you don't do anything right out of the box with the nickel metal hydride you're going to get about 11 minute run times. But if you if you program the ESC, which the manual tells you how, and it's really easy, I mean, you just it's a matter of like pressing buttons and stuff. I don't even remember if the transmitter is needed or if you just press buttons, but it's covered in the manual and it's super simple, uh, but you can turn off that LVC warning if you're not using a LiPo battery because the nickel metal hydride doesn't need an LVC. Um, and then you'll get about 14 minute run time. So you get quite a bit longer run time. So that is well worth doing if you're not running a LiPo. Um, with the LiPo, with the 1600 milliamp hour, so quite a bit bigger battery, I get about 17 minute long run time. So really long run times, especially with how fast it's going. Um, so that may be worth getting the LiPo battery. Uh, but with the nickel metal hydride, I found that it's like pretty much perfectly dialed in. I mean, you can you can floor it from the get go, and it it won't flip itself over. And you can you know be going full speed and slam on the brakes, and it stops nice and um, quick without wanting to roll over. And I just I found with the nickel metal hydride, it it seems just perfect. It doesn't have any ugly tendencies or anything. Uh, but with the lipo on a you know if you floor it right off the bat it can get a little you know it can kind of want to wheelie up a little bit so then your steer tires lose grip and it it can kind of get a little out of control and then when you're going full speed if you slam on the brakes it'll it'll roll over on its nose not all the time but usually um, so it's a little bit harder to drive with the lipo battery and you know it's still a little bit harder to drive even with the nickel metal hydride than other brushed vehicles so this is a little bit more of an advanced 
uh, ground vehicle, you'll probably want some experience with it before you try it uh, because you do need to be a little more precise on the controls. Um, however, we'll look at the transmitter here. It does have uh, dual rates on it. So we've got here um, throttle, we'll get that to focus in maybe, throttle dual rate and steering dual rate. So you can turn that down to slow it down and then you can turn the steering down so the steering is not as sensitive. Um, so if you know if it is a little too fast for you at first, turn that throttle DR down and that'll essentially slow down the top speed and then it'll make it much easier for you to get a feel for it and then as you get better you can turn that DR all the way up and really let it rip. So pretty cool. I just think all around this is just a really cool model with, you know, and that DR kind of gives it, you know, even a beginner probably could start with this if they wanted to start out, you know, with the low on DR setting. Uh, so here is our brushless motor. Let's see if I can, it's a, a 53, can't quite see that five there, but it's a 5300 kV motor. Uh, we've got our on off switch here, which is covered in this little rubber uh, cover so that keeps it waterproof. I don't remember if I said that or not, but it is waterproof. Um, and you can reach that on off switch with the body on so you can you know get the battery and everything body pins on and ready to go and then flip your on off switch once you get out to the field so always a big fan of that um, this is the battery bay here so you've got a little um, latch there that holds the battery down and so um, the nickel metal hydride fills up that compartment entirely uh, whereas the lipo is a little bit short so it can kind of slide around in there but it's fatter too, so then this um, this clamp holds down tighter on it, so it holds it in place pretty good. Um, so I didn't have any problems with that. Um, and I also I really like the the suspension on it. It's it's stiff enough to be good for jumping and not too soft, um, but then it's also soft enough for off road, so it doesn't get too bumpy on gravel. It feels like a perfect sort of stiffness to it and then i also think the wheels are foam filled they i can feel some padding in there and you don't hear a bunch of air squishing out uh, so the wheels feel nice and um you know kind of got some durability to them and you aren't you know bashing into the rims or anything and then that kind of also helps with shock absorption and stuff uh, so all around just a huge fan of this model um, you know, it still has plastic parts and plastic gears and stuff. So, you know, with the speed it has, you want to be gentle on it. You know, you don't want it to get it rolling backwards and then slam on the gear on the on the gas, and then so that gear has to quickly change because that's a good way to chew up your gear. So, you want to be a little more gentle with this, or you're gonna you know break in those um, plastic parts. All right, let's see. Oh, and it does come with batteries for the transmitter, so it is completely ready to run. That's nice. And checking my notes. Yep, that covers it. So I'm going to do some run footage with the nickel metal hydride first, and then we'll put the lipo in and see if you can really tell the difference or not. And I'll see if I can get any of the, you know, the kind of ugly tendencies where it tends to want to roll and flip and stuff a little bit more and show you that. But, you know, I still found it plenty drivable even with the LiPo battery. But, all right, let's go check that out. All right, this is the run review of the Dramata MT4.18BL. This is a 1 18th scale four-wheel drive waterproof monster truck. And I'm over here in the bigger parking lot because this thing with the BL on there, that stands for brushless. So this little guy has a brushless motor and this thing is super fast. Uh, it comes with a nickel metal hydride battery, which is what I've got in it now, but you can also put a 2S LiPo in it, and I've got that as well. So I'll do uh, two runs. I'll show you with the stock battery, and then we'll do a little bit of a speed run with the LiPo battery. Uh, it's already really fast with the nickel metal hydride battery. Man, good good timing train. Uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me, but yeah, it's... It's already really fast with the nickel metal hydride. The lipo is a little bit faster, but it's plenty fast with the with the nickel metal hydride. So anyway, we'll go ahead and give it a spin. 
And I found with the with the nickel metal hydride, you can pretty much floor it, and it won't it won't wheelie or anything. You can slam on the brakes, and it won't nose over. So it's like it's perfectly dialed in for the nickel metal hydride. Whereas the lipo tends to want to roll over and stuff. You've got to be a little bit more delicate on the controls to keep it from rolling and flipping over. Ooh, ooh. So let's kind of get a, there's full speed. That <laughs> thing cruises like, for a nickel metal hydride battery. <laughs> thing just screams. And it is, you know, four-wheel drive, and being a monster truck, it's got some ground clearance, so it actually, you know, can off-road pretty well. It's not great in the grass because it is only 1/18th scale, so it can get a little bogged down. But that brushless motor certainly helps with the power, and you don't have to worry as much about it overheating like a brushed motor. And it's plenty capable in the rocks and stuff too. <laughs> Man, this thing screams. This thing is cool. And it does have uh, dual rates on the controller as well, so you can dial down the speed and turning if you want. So it's a little too fast for you at first at least. You can turn it down and kind of get a feel for it, get it to where the speed is how you like it. Because with full speed like this, it is a little bit more of an advanced runner. You, you don't want to, you know, spin around and slam on the gas. Uh, while it's going in reverse and stuff like that, or you're gonna you're gonna grind gears up. So you do want to be a little bit like right there where it's rolling backwards. If I would slam on the throttle, that would grind gears. So you want to be careful running something this fast. This thing is cool though, I, mean, I like it. Man, this thing screams. Ah. Yeah, it's not super great in this thicker grass. Even though it's pretty short, it's it's kind of thick grass and bogs down in it. Come on. Oh, dang it. I need a car with a self-riding feature. I think that um, that new Traxxas, the huge monster truck, whatever it's called that they just came out with, that has some sort of self-riding feature. That's pretty cool. Well, I think I've showed pretty much all there is to show with this nickel metal hydride battery. Let's uh, maybe do some speed passes again to get a good idea in your head of how fast it is with the nickel metal hydride, and then I'll put the lipo on, and we'll see how fast that is. But it's like I was saying, if you know, if I slam the throttle fully with the nickel metal hydride, well, it's spun out there, but. Yeah, it's kind of spinning out on this concrete there, but it won't it won't wheelie at all or anything. It doesn't flip over 
In full speed, I can slam on the brakes and it doesn't roll over its nose. So it's, it's pretty much geared perfectly for the nickel metal hydride battery, whereas the LiPo seems to push it over the limit just a little bit and it can, it can wheelie and stuff. Whoa. All right, well I think that's a good test of the nickel metal hydride, so now I'm gonna go put the LiPo in it and I'll be just back, be back in just a second and we'll check it out with the LiPo. All right, be back in a second. All right, now I'm back with the 2S LiPo in there, so we'll see how the speed is with the LiPo, and I'll show you its tendency to wheelie and stuff like that. All right, and kind of go slow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Try to ramp it up a little bit so I can get a full speed here to show you just the speed at first. Yeah, man, it it gets squirrely with the um, the lipo, and this this pavement's a little bit slick, so it's hard to get good grip on it. There we go. So <laughs> it's it's only just a little bit faster. It's not hugely faster with the lipo in it. Man, it gets, it gets squirrely with that little bit of extra speed, though. And so, let's see if I can do it without spinning. I'll just, I'll slam the throttle. Yeah. Just tends to spin out a little bit more. Maybe, let's see over here on this grippier stuff. Make sure there's no cars coming down the alley. That was pretty good. All right, so now I'll try to get it going full speed. Ah, uh, and I, I've noticed that when I when I'm going full speed, if I slam on the brakes, it'll tend to nose over. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, that did all right. There we go. So yeah, if you're doing full speed with the LiPo and you slam on the brakes, it tends to do that. Whereas with the nickel metal hydride, it never does that. It's like perfectly dialed in for that battery and the LiPo is just a little bit too fast for it. There's full speed. Ooh, that was a nice jump. But I have found that I get a lot longer run times with the LiPo. I think because of the extra speed, I don't go full speed all the time. And then that ends up giving me longer run times. So I still recommend getting the lipo for it if you get this. And you know, just be a little more delicate on your controls to make up for the extra speed. Because if you if you slowly let's see there's full speed. If you slowly work yourself up to full speed, it can definitely do it. It just tends to get a little more out of control. Full speed. Man, the thing screams. Whoop. <laughs> Come on, flip yourself over. I think it's tangled up in there. Yeah. There we go. And a little bit of extra power from the lipo helps it in this grass too. Again, you want to be careful with that, putting that kind of load on there, you can end up stripping your gears out. Full speed. Whoa, watch out for the pull. <laughs> Man, this thing gets going. This is a little beast. Whoa, 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 yes. Upright.
Whoa! Man, this thing is so much fun. Looks like the brake's doing pretty well most of the time. <laughs> Whoa. All right, well, I think that was a pretty good demo of both the batteries and just how fast this thing is. I like it, man. This thing is super cool. Very unstoppable. It's got the off-road power, got smooth pavement speed. This thing is nice. Alright, we'll check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.